I have previously reviewed a series of easy-to-use image creation tools, and this time it's Stencil Stern. Stencil is free to use, however you can only create 10 images per month, and you are limited when it comes to choosing photos and icons. Once you have created your free account, you are ready to start creating. Unlike other similar post creation tools, you can get to choose the size of your post from below the actual image. Or you can get to create your own custom image size that you will be able to use later. For now, we are going to create a Facebook post. Like in any other tools case, you can either start a post from scratch or using a template. However, for stencil, if you want to use a template, you will have to pay at least $9 each month. For this reason, we are going to create the post from the very beginning. So what we are going to choose first is a picture. You'll see that if you have a free account, you are unable to choose the photos at the end and you can only choose from the ones at the very beginning. However, a good tip for this is that you are not limited to only the pictures in the featured photos category, but you can also search from the given types of categories or search for your own pictures. And here you will be able to find more free pictures. What Stencil has as a useful button is the fact that you can choose to convert to resizable image by just clicking this button. And you will be able to move the image wherever you want or just click on set as a background. And it's just very easy to decide on how you can handle these pictures on screen. And from the menu, you can edit a picture, either from a preset filter or with some small features. Next, you can choose to add an icon, and again, only the very first icons are free to use. But let's remember that you can always search for a different category, and again, you will find that the first ones are free to use. Next, we are going to edit the text of the image. And because this is a YouTube video, I'm just going to ask you to subscribe to my channel. And again, you can play with the size of the text, with the line height, which is the spacing between the words and the letters, and with a drop shadow. Again, Canva does not have a feature like this yet. And a very interesting and cute thing is that you can add a border, so an outline color to what you have written, and even a background color. And this is just very simple to use. And you can remove it if you want to. Another unique thing that you can find in Stencil is the quote option. And from here, you can basically just go around and look for a quote regarding any topic and add it to your post. And obviously you can edit everything regarding those quotes. So this is just for inspiration and if you do not want to leave the tab to find something on the internet or if you are just in a hurry to find the quote for your post. Like for any other tool, you are also able to upload your own images. And if you want a logo or a watermark, you do have to pay for this feature. After you have created your post, you can go and resize the canvas and you will not lose the content, however it will look different so you would have to edit it a bit. And another nifty hack is the Facebook ad grid, which is useful for determining whether your image adheres to Facebook's sex limit for ads or not. Because if you don't know, if you want to post an ad on Facebook, your text should be very limited to only five boxes, 
For example, in this case, the post just has too many words on it. So guys, this would be about all about stencil for today. Please look forward to more videos and see you soon.